Hello and welcome to this week's Glass Tire Top 5. It is the week of October 22nd, 2020, and I'm Christina Reese. And I'm Brandon Zek. And we are at the Houston Arboretum outside of the Nature Center, and we'll get to that in just a second. But first we're going to kick off uh, with number 5, which is closing this week on October 25th, so you just have a few more days to go see it. Mm -hmm. It is the Kipps Bay House in Dallas. Yeah, so this is a decorator house. This is a this is an old um, kind of ongoing annual event in Manhattan, or it has been in Manhattan, and it has branched out to other cities, including Miami. This is the first year that it is in Dallas, and uh, local interior designers each get a room in, of a big fancy house in Preston Hollow, and uh, this year they had um, local artists come in and supply the artwork for all of the rooms. Colette Copeland, an artist and a frequent contributor to Glass Tire, walked through the house for us, took a lot of pictures. We ran a story on it last week. You can check that out. We've got Letitia Huckabee, Kier Tanchak, Sarah Bell, Desiree Venicia, Carmen Menza, Rebecca Carter, etc. Some great uh, Dallas-Fort Worth based artists, a few artists from outside of Dallas-Fort Worth. The, mm -hmm. I believe the organizers worked with artists as well as galleries. So um, anyway, you've got until the 25th to go through this big fancy house, which shows all of the current domestic design trends, the very upper end of current design trends. I mean, it's kind of a perfect time for this. Like the fact that it has been happening in the past is just kind of, that, that almost doesn't matter. It's like right now what we want to do is design our homes because it's all we're doing. That's all, that's the only space we are in right now. Right. So um, go see what your dream home could be. Yeah, with the artwork in it that you will maybe recognize. Number four on our list this week is actually tonight, Thursday at uh, between 6 and 7 p.m. And it is online. It's a conversation. It's called Artisan Dialogue. It's Catherine Opie. And this is brought to you by... Uh, from the Moody Center for the Arts at Rice University. Yeah, so Catherine Opie is in the uh, show at the Moody Center, which we included on a previous top five. Uh, one of the reasons we're picking this, well, we love Catherine Opie at Glass Tire. She's wonderful, it's wonderful to hear her speak. Mm -hmm. She expounds upon it so beautifully and kind of so perfectly, and especially kind of in this moment and the, the work that's in the show that is uh, based around politics and kind of social politics, um, it's really rewarding. And then also, uh, Catherine Opie, back in 2017, Glass Tire, we brought her to Houston for one of our off-road conversations, uh, which we'll also link in the post. She, she was in conversation, for us, she was in conversation with the writer Eileen Miles, and they go way back. So that conversation is about art and aging and even menopause. It was an incredibly cool conversation. Every, it was packed, and everyone who was there just absolutely loved it. But yeah, listen to Catherine Opie tonight in conversation with Allison Weaver. Number three this week is a, uh, a group show, a pop-up. There's a lot of things you could call it. It is officially called Camp Lucky Part 2 Quantum Entanglement Blues. Uh, this is a pop-up show organized by Paul Horn and Jeff Wheeler. Uh, Jeff Wheeler, longtime uh, Lubbock resident uh, of the Wheeler Brothers, now in San Antonio doing some stuff there. Paul Horn, longtime Houston pop-up aficionado mm -hmm. who went away for a little while and is back now. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is going to be on Friday, kind of through the mid part of the day at Heidi Vaughn Fine Art in the courtyard, and then Saturday at Deborah Colton Gallery, also in the cart courtyard. So it's outside, it's pop-up, it's works by both Jeff and Paul, but then also there are allegedly at least going to be works by Mark Flood, Bill Davenport, Earl Staley, Franco Mondini Ruiz, Thedra Color Ledford, uh, Daniel Johnston, Jack Massing. It's, it's kind of a smattering of people that Again, allegedly, I did see the name Banksy. I don't know if there will be actually I, uh, Banksy there. There will be Banksy. I've uh -huh. got an image of it. Yeah. <laughs> Number two on our list, we are here at the Houston Arboretum. And this is the Nature Center, which is kind of towards the front entrance. This is a work by uh, Houston artist James Templeton. And it is, uh, it's a piece of... What do we call it? Auto... It's kind of kinetic art yeah. in a way, but it's self-perpetuating It's auto-drawing, yeah. And what he's done, and I'll, I'll shoot video and kind of show you, but this is hooked up to a canister full of living 
organisms and the photosynthesis that's happening with the sun as you see the sun is coming in late afternoon is the thing that's driving this that is actually the motor or the engine of this engineered project and um, it's here now it will be here for a little bit longer and then i think it's going to move over to eleanor tinsley park right which is just kind of down the way uh parallel to this but um, not in the arboretum and i think that when it's raining he just pulls it inside it is i believe on wheels and um it's just going to create this great big drawing the reason i wanted to pick this is because the arbors out in marfa great printmakers they actually one of them sent a comment to us saying i, I would like to get in touch with this artist about this and and it made me think well i want to see it now too so um here it is and it is in process and it is being drawn as we speak. And you know the nature theme is of course going all the way through this drawing is very much like a concentric circle that is it's basically like a big tree so it's basically drawing the the rings the age lines of a tree and number one this week is a show that opened recently at the Blanton it opened at the beginning of this month it is up through uh, the beginning of January it's a show called expanding abstraction pushing the boundaries of painting in the Americas 1958 to 1983 they announced this show a long time ago and Lydia Pine, one of our Austin uh, contributors, had uh, offered to write about it and had to wait and wait and wait and wait and then the blend opened, yay, finally, so she got to go see it. These are paintings by a lot of names that you know. The artists are from the United States and Latin America. Sam Gilliam, Alma Thomas, George Sugarman, Dorothy Hood, Norman Lewis, etc. And really strong images and it's really kind of just showing us how abstraction changed and the definitions of it expanded, materials, uh, presentation, even just the definition of painting versus sculpture versus conceptual art, etc. etc. It looks like a very strong show. Most of the works are in the permanent collection at the Blanton and aren't necessarily always out. These are mostly real large scale dramatic works. I think they borrowed about three works from other collections, but it looks like a really, really solid show, and we do have that review up on the site right now. Just to kind of cap this off, we just announced that we have opened the calls for our first Greater Houston Art Writing Prize and our third North Texas Art Writing Prize. So if you know of any students in the Dallas-Fort Worth or Greater Houston area uh, that like to write about art and would want to win $2,500, send them to our site, send them our way. And if you like our videos and want to kind of get them straight to your inbox, subscribe to us on YouTube. And that is it for us this week. And mask up and be careful. And uh, if it strikes you that this is the right thing to do, go see some art. Go see some art.